Hi, I'm Roger Anderson, and today we're going to discuss the basics of weapon safety. First things first, though. Always treat every weapon as if it was loaded. Never point a gun at anything that you don't intend to shoot. Period. Okay, the National Rifle Association has a safety program designed for kids to teach them what to do when they encounter a gun in four easy steps. Stop. Don't touch. Leave the area. Go tell an adult. But what do you do if you are the adult and you don't know the first thing about how to handle a weapon properly? Well, I'm going to demonstrate the basics to the weapons and explain a little bit about ammunition. So, ammo, shells, bullets. What is all this stuff anyway? Well, for the rifle and pistols, a complete cartridge is a round, and a cartridge without the bullet is a blank. And shotguns take shells with shot or slugs. Yep, it can be a little bit confusing, but we're going to discuss it. And let's start with the rifle and pistol ammo first. This is what it looks like. There's a case, a primer, powder, and the bullet. Now the case holds it all together. The primer is what's used to ignite the powder. It gets struck by a firing mechanism in the gun. It can also be set off by hitting it with a hammer or placed in a fire. You don't want to know how I know that. The bullet is the only part that goes down the barrel of the weapon. So, pistol looks pretty much the same as the rifle, but it's just a little bit smaller. So you want to think of the pistol round as being deadly out to a thousand feet where a rifle would be deadly out to a thousand yards. Shotgun shell. Shell looks pretty much the same, but it's made with a plastic case. It has a brass case on the head, right here, and it's got a primer on it, which ignites the powder. And here we have an extra part called the wad. It's made of plastic or paper, and it separates the shot or the slug from the powder itself. So it gets hit right here by the firing mechanism into the, the primer, shoots and burns up the powder, and pushes the wad and the shot or slug all the way down the, the rifle. And that's it for ammo pretty much in a nutshell. Now let's discuss rifles. Rifle can be bolt action or semi-automatic. Those are the two main types. They look pretty much the same. Here I have another one that looks much like this. The bolt is used to pull the handle back and look inside the chamber. Once you look inside the chamber and verify that it's empty of any ammunition, then it's safe. The barrel is made of steel. It has rifling in it, little grooves, which helps keep the bullet stable when it's fired from the round. And it's shot out past the muzzle. This is the trigger that's used to release the firing mechanism inside, and when the safety's on, it will not move. The forearm, forestock, is right here, and is usually one piece that goes all the way to the back to the stock, and then onto the butt. And that's the rifle. The shotgun looks very similar to that. It has all the same components, except that the shotgun usually has to be opened with a button to look inside the chamber. You want, uh, there's two different kinds of shotguns. You've got, well, there's several. You've got the uh, pump, which is, looks like this. Double barrel, single barrel, over under, semi-automatic. You pull a little button on the top, Cracks the barrel open, you look to see if there's any shells in there, and once you verify that it's empty, then it's safe. Same for this, but you have to pull the, the forearm back, look inside the chamber to verify that there isn't any weapon or ammo inside, and you'll be safe. The barrel is, does not have any rifling in it. It's a smooth bore and helps push the shot and the wad out past the muzzle without any friction. The forearm is detached from the stock and the butt. Now, both the rifle and the shotgun need to be placed up against your shoulder to be fired. They also have the trigger and the safety mechanism. If you hold this weapon away from your shoulder, it could dislocate your shoulder. Don't ask me how I know that, too. All right, the pistol comes in two different varieties as well. It's a semi-automatic or revolver. 
The semi-automatic has a detachable magazine. You remove the magazine with a push of a button. The cylinder opens up and lets you look inside to see if there's any ammunition in that. It also has a barrel which has rifling for stabilizing the bullet. Goes past the muzzle. The trigger is right here. And this has a hammer. The hammer is what has the firing pin that hits the bullet which sends the round down to your target. It also has a handle on it, not like the shotgun or the, the rifle. So, in conclusion, all the weapons that can, that can be found on the street can be dangerous if they're in the wrong hands. But, after you have made absolutely sure there isn't any ammunition inside, the gun is safe and considered safe for the duration. To find out more about a particular weapon, go to any weapons dealer that's reputable for specific instructions. And that concludes my lesson on basics of firearm safety. Come back next week and we'll discuss how to safe one of these things. Oops, sorry. Maybe that's going to be in a month. Have a good day. Bye.